Good morning, Rabbi Isai. Ah! Wow, what a guest. Today we have a very, very special guest. A few special guests. But especially this special guest. What's your name? Shalom Isaac Weinberg. Isaac Weinberg, you, you look a little excited. What's going on here? You do the daf? Yeah. Every day? Yeah. Who's your father? The Rav of North Woodmere. The Rav of North Woodmere. Pshhh. Wow, what a schus. What's your, so Isaac, how old are you? 11. 11 years old, and you're doing the daf for how long? Like in Bometzio. Bometzio. The beginning, the end. By the end. And man, I'm so excited. I heard that you took a bus here to, from Yerushalayim to here. Yeah. And there's somebody in the shir, Rabbi Rosner, he's on the shir, he's on the bus, and he heard you practicing. Good morning, our boy say, ah, it's true? Yeah. Yeah? Well, nobody in the bus, they knew what was going on. They hear guys scream, ah, ah. It's good? Good stuff? Wow. This is one of the best guests ever, no? Yeah. It's one of the best guests. I love this guy. And your brother's here. What's his name? Avram Yaakov. Avram Yaakov. Shalom Avram Yaakov. He's much excited. I'll tell you, his chad was the right, so from when he landed in Eretz Yisrael, he said, when are we going to MDY? Really? <laughs> when are we going to MDY? He says. <laughs> Yivaldi. What's your name? Shalom Aleichem. Gabriel Katan. Gabriel Katan from Maryland? So, originally from Uruguay. Uruguay. I lived in Israel for a couple of years, and now in, in Kenmil Silver Spring, Maryland. Very nice. Okay, thank you for coming. We have a very nice community that I listen to this year. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Shkoya. So last night, Rabbi Isai, we the oil of the, the Hebrew speaking oil, and we went to Neria. I didn't realize I wasn't the only person to make that mistake. Uh, we're driving, and the way he says we're going to this place, and there's a big red sign that says you will be dead by the time you get out. <laughs> so I stopped the car. Reverse. I'm like, I call up Benny. Where are you taking me? He's like, just follow ways. I say, I can't follow ways. It says, you won't come. There won't be a shirt tonight. I heard that I was not the only guy. Dave, you also did that? No, it's a, it's a few people. My son, yes, it's always an issue. It's always an issue. They live mamish. It's unbelievable. The sacrifice. They live. And then I, I pulled over, and they're going in. One, and they're staring at me like, what, what's going on here? Like, unbelievable. Mamish in in the thick of it. So it's. It was a beautiful shir. There's a lot, a lot of people there. It's Givaldic. This guy, Avi Berg, who's Ravi Berg from, uh, from, from, uh, no, the Yishim Mivaseret, yeah. So Avi wants a part time in Sechus Beitza. He said, whoever joins the daf, give him a free brisket. He still does. A guy comes to me, he says, listen, I joined Sechus Beitza because I got a free brisket, one kilo. I'm still doing the daf, never missed a day. So he got people to join for a, a piece of brisket. <laughs> and the schus says, you know what? His own son does the daf since Beitza. And his son is 13 years old. He gives, he gives, Benny gives a lot of brisket. Shalom Aleichem, what's your name? Your Baruch's, Baruch's brother. So Rabbi Sai, Tzvi Spiro, his brother was my boss. He taught me electric for two years. He was my uh, electrician boss in Chicago. And there's another guy in uh, an area that said, you are, so I forgot how you brought up your name. All right, Rabbi um, Isai, we, we have to get to the important stuff, the mails, the emails. <laughs> Hi, Rebelli, my name is Efrain Gwersman. Ashi, I don't need you to laugh today. I got this guy here. He's good, he's good. Shkoyach, Ashi. You'll give it over for one day. I'll give it right back. No problem, Shkoyach. Hi, Rebelli, my name is Efrain Gwersman. And July 26th, Tamos, it's uh, Chof Tamos, is my daffiversary. I want to show my course of life to you and thank you for changing my life. Yes, changed my life. Before I joined the daff, I was a regular yeshiva bach in the mirror yeshiva, always struggling to keep up with the classic Bion style. Always feeling a little behind, not really feeling accomplished in my learning. And after continuous harassment from my brother who does the shir, shout out to my bro Shlaimi, that I should join the shir. I finally caved and joined the shir right before Ben Azman. And I figured I'll finish sukkah. And now I'll stop. I mean, it was hooked ever since. Wow. Rabbi said, when they say that yeshiva guys, they, they have these long sentences. Here's a good raya. This was, all this holy mail was one sentence. Let me, you know what? I'll show it. I'll put it on the screen. Can you read it with me? I'm, I'm just, I'm good at this. I immediately was hooked ever since then. I feel like, uh, no, I was hooked. Ever since then, I feel like I really transformed to a learner. 
making all essays of my learning better, Gemara Alocha, and giving me a real cheshek for learning the, the sentences going, and sense of accomplishment, and, but there's a few uh, apostrophes, and my mother never misses the email portion of the shir. Now, Ephraim, I have a lot of, of course, I'll talk to you, I'm not, I'm not knocking, I just love the email, it's one, your mother's going to be a little embarrassed, but it's Beseder. Thank you for your insane dedication, and don't listen to the haters. You hear? Don't listen to the haters, Ephraim. You, you can't do any better. Ephraim Gwertzman, P.S., if you can please shout out to my two recruits, Yehuda Kreitman and Cornflakes. <laughs> Cornflakes, welcome. <laughs> they, as you say, my brothers, they're my brother Shloimi, right? His brother Shloimi's Eniklach. My boys, I just want to show you Mikotzel Kotza here. The, uh, here we have one person saying, good morning, Rabbi Yisai. Ah, and then right afterwards, you'll see a different type. Uh, where's the sa- volume? Yeah. Okay, we have volume. Here we go. No volume. That's not my problem, right? <laughs> Let's see if they got volume on this. Also not coming through? Yeah, no, not coming through. Okay, you guys have to figure something out. Um, last night, look at this guy, he's a chayal, and he had a MDY patch. I have some of his patches here. What do you say? <laughs> I'm not going to repeat. Okay. Do we have any, we have a soldier? You want one of these? Will you wear it? Come, come. Ozzy's here. Get over it. I didn't see. Come, come. You Are you a soldier? <laughs> Soldiers. Soldiers only. We have a soldier. You don't, you don't really have to wear it. Shalom Aleichem. How you doing, Sadi? Thank you, Paul. You do? Here. Wear it pride. Wow, that thing is nice. So tell us, is it, right? It's not so hard to uh, 150 yards away to hit a guy right in the. You have to be a shaita. Shlomo Lazarian. I was speaking to Shlomo Lazarian at uh, close to 2 a.m. And he said, you know, that video of you, there's a video that said that Akash uh, Baruch wanted Trump to live. Even if you hate Trump, you, wanted, you can be a shaita. I said, that, that's not a good one. The one with the elephant, the, the sound guys put it. I said, no, no, no. The one with the AR-15, you said you own an AR-15. That's much more, it's much more powerful. Shkoyach, thank you. All right. Uh, Mendy wants to start the share, so I guess we, we have no choice. We're going to have to go. Oh, spot. check this out. He says the Bay Bar Sison, the gematria of the Bay Bar Sison is 408, and I, and I said it has to do with the Trump Towers. Migdala Trump is 408. Shmuel Vefer from Brochus Dav Bays. We know that's not true. It's very... Uh, there's a lot of shtikmachers. I know he's from Tveria, but I don't think he's from Brachas Dav Beis. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> what? Why not? Because now we have four cruises worth of Dav Beisers. <laughs> they have thou- tens of thousands. The numbers were low. Oh, he. You're saying he deserves to be from Brachas. Okay, fine. We're going to go. You know what? I'll give you, Rabbi Rosner, one of these. You'll be one of the only ones. You got one of these. What are you going to do with it? Give it to Chayal. Okay. Fine. Yechayel Hashem. Sponsors. Sponsored by the, the Masechta for the safe and speedy return of all the hostages. You look a little uncomfortable, Shamji. Yeah, no, it's not. To, yes. Yeah. It's a different time. The Parents of Chodesh Sharm framing the Schus to rebel if you continue to see how this man is teaching Torah to Klai Yisrael. Parents of Chodesh, with Lufur Shleima, Naftali Herz, Ben Hen Yaleo, a hidden tzaddik in our generations. Parnas Achaydish, Lil Nishma Zachary Ben Moshe, Lil Nishma Zachayo Bas Yosef. Parnas Hayoyim, hey, do you want to impose for you? Shol Mandelkorn, Lil Nishma's my father, Harav Yehuda Leib, and Harav Tzvi, who's 31st yards at us today. I've always said we have a very, very special uh, sponsorship today. It's a surprise sponsorship. Happy birthday to our dear Yosef, editor, editor extraordinaire. You're s- Your subtle additions to an amazing shir brings the daf to life on a whole new level. We can't live without the daf with the rebelli. The shir takes to life with your phenomenal, phenomenal behind-the-scenes touches. Please accept the sponsorship as a small token of appreciation from all of us. 
who sleep while you work, who enjoy your talents, who look forward to the daf daily, wondering what will t- what will we take away from today's daf and how will Yosef make it memorable? Best wishes and brachas of Admei Avesim Shana with Gizut Nachas and much continued bracha from your MDY Chaverim and Mishpacha worldwide. A bunch of guys got together and pitched in for the sponsorship and they sent it to me privately and they had me printed out. They didn't want him to see it before this year. Happy birthday. I'll have everyone in my Shabbos. My Shabbos. And then Yavalde. Elimelech, we have room for you. Kim Tzerayin. Shalom Aleichem, Shalom Aleichem. All right, we're holding Daf Lamed Aleph, Omed Aleph, on top. Rabbi Isai, as you notice, we are 30 Daf into Baba Basra. Time flies when we're having fun. 175 days is nothing when it comes to Daf Yaimi. It's literally, what just happened? 30 days, and I think it was an amazing journey up until now. Zoe Mishal Avoisai. Zoe Mishal Avoisai. Two people are fighting over this property. Each one says it's my father. I thought that this reminds me of a, a joke. It's not the, uh, you know, one of those. There's two guys, very, very drunk in the bar. And one of them says, where are you from? He says, I'm from Tel Aviv. He says, I can't believe it. I'm also from Tel Aviv. We're in Tel Aviv. He says, I'm from Dizingo. Me too. What, what number in Disney? It says 33. No way. Unbelievable. Me too. I'm 33. It says two guys over here the whole conversation. One guy looks at the other guy and says, The brothers. <laughs> you like it? It's a good one. This guy's better than Ashi. Ashi, you're fired. We're bringing him in on a day that you like. Ashi says, okay. You saw he control. I should control him. So he took it back. Let him have the. Yeah. So you have two guys. They both say it's my father's. It's my father's. The high Osis Ahadid. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Don't take it seriously. There's nobody like you. The high Isis Ahadid. Ochel Shnei Chazaka. High Isis Ahadid. I've also one brought. They both say it's my father's. I got it from my father. I got to be Yerusha. One proved it with Aiden that it's from his father. The high Isis had the Dachl Shnei Chazaka, and the second one couldn't prove that it was his father's, but he has proof that he was there with Chazaka. What? Oh, Amar What's stronger? We have Edim that it was one's father. We have Edim that is Chazaka, but Chazaka by itself, or by itself is not enough. You need Chazaka with a Taina. Aiden that said that it was your forefathers, Avoisai, your grandfather, your great grandfathers, that's very strong. Omar Abba, Maloy Lishaker. This is what we call in Gemara language Amigui. If a person wants to lie, he could, he could have a much better lie. Maloy Lishaker. Look, he has Aiden that he was in there for three years and he had a Chazaka. What is he missing? A few words. Nobody could contradict these words. He could say, I bought it from you, and here are my Aiden that I sat here for three years, and it says, there's no questions asked. The fact that the other guy brought Aiden that it was his father's, so what? You sold it eventually. So what happened there? Why is he in a, ba- why is he in a bad position? Because he didn't say, I bought it from you. He just said, it's my father's. And I have Aiden that I'm sitting here for three years, and nobody said a word. So Rabbi calls us amigoy. He wins. He has amigoy. Omalei Abaya. Who's Abaya compared to Rabbi? Both are right. Abaya was Rabbi's nephew. And since Abaya was the awesome from a father and a mother, so he adopted him. So he's his Rebbe and his stepfather and everything else. So Abayah tells his Rebbe, Mali l'shaker b'mokam e'edin lo'i amrinon. This is a great migoy, but it's a terrible one today. Why? Because the other guy has e'edin, that it was his father's. So you want to say that your migoy should beat the e'edin. Well, think about it. The e'edin are also testifying that it's not your father's. Both of them said the same words. It's my father's. It's my father's. They're both arguing. One comes up with Aiden that it's really his father's. That means that the other guy lied. 
But the other guy that lied, he has Aiden that he was he had a chazaka. But and he has a migu, he says Rabba. He's stronger, he has a migu. But we have Aiden that contradict him. Mm-hmm. He also he also mm-hmm. said, the guy that has a migu also said it's his father's. And we have Aiden that it's not true. We have Aiden that it's the other guy's father's. So now we have Aiden against him. Ruve has Aiden that contradict him. Because Ruvain said that it's his father's. It's not his father's because two Adam said it's not. But he has a great Migui. So you want to say that the Migui should beat the Adam. Huh? Yeah. He says, Abayi, it's Migui against Adam. It doesn't work. But the Adam don't, they're, not, uh, they're not rejecting the time of the Migui. I know. I still could have said. But they're saying he's a liar. Even if you have Adam, I still could have said. Yeah, but, 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 but they're saying, I hear, for, but he's a liar. First of all, he's a liar. He's a liar. He said that it's his father's. We have Adam that contradict him. And we have Adam that are strong. They're Adam. They're Adam that the, it's the other guys. He got it from his father. His chazak is nothing. How, one minute. Let's, let's start from the way. How should he win? How should the guy that has a chazak, he has Adam that has a chazak, how should he win? He has no taina. No taina. The taina is me caught the fact that I could have said I bought it from him. And that's, that's, a, that's a weak taina compared to Adam. That's, that's a weak, that, that's a svara, great, against Adam. And guess what? Rabbah, who's the Rebbe, and the uncle, and the, and the stepfather, he took it back. He retracted. The Rishbam proves from later on that he retracted. It doesn't seem foolish. And we see the halach is like that. There's an aleph here. Mali shagim hokim edim lo yamrinon. Hodo amalei. So says, I could hear that whole conversation over there, guys. Omalei in the Avasachi. Now he sees his stuck. There's two Adim that say that it's Shimon's father. So now Reuben doesn't know what to do. So Reuben says, you know what? Yeah, it was your father's. And I bought it from you. But five minutes ago you were screaming, it was my father's, my father's. Now you're saying a different story. You're saying, I bought it from you. Oh, I can explain the story. Why did I say it's your father's? That it's my father's. Because it's, I have such strong possession of this property as if it's my father's. There, a guy screamed out yesterday in, in, the, in the Hebrew shir. I, I wasn't sure. I thought I heard it here in Israel. There's such a lush. And like, it's, 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 you, you park in a certain place. What's well, your father's? Right? This is how they say. It's a lush in here in Israel. It means, yes, this is It's mine. It's my father's. It's a, it's, that's how it's a slang. It's part of the vernacular. So, oh, let me just show you how it goes here. So, What's going on? Where? Ah, oh. Okay, this room over there? Yes. Ah, okay. No problem, we'll wait. Okay, Zogdi Gemara. So check this out. What's going on here is follows. The guy, in the, the guy on the couch and the guy closest to us on the left side, all in the left. Get out of my house, I inherited it. Ah, mamish, like two drops of water. If you look at the pictures on the wall, they look like the guy all the way on the left. So when he says, Avoisa, it's my father's, he has good rias. Look, the, the, the paintings on the wall are mamish like him. Ah, I inherited it from my father. I don't know who. Anyways, just we're done with this again. I'm just showing you the art. <laughs> <laughs> what I meant was, it's Ki'ilu, my father's house. Ki'ilu. If I was there and I was the one who said, ah, you'd have an ear infection. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, one day you're going to be a tremendous rogue. Where? In what community? South. South with me. <laughs> you compete with your own father. All right, so I just want to show you this real quickly. This is a little bit of the sugi today, very, very simple. 
a similar halacha is that if you have Edim that, that testify in court in Bezdin, they can they given once they're locked in, they said their testimony, they can't say another testimony. What about the Baldin himself? Baldin, he comes to court and he says, This is what happened. So if we look all the way on the on the right, red, red means no, green means yes. So the two the two opposites. According to everybody, according to everybody, the Kula Alma, if they, he adds a second piece to his ta, to his taina, which contradicts the first taina, everybody agrees. You can't, we don't accept the second taina. He says, no, no. So in our case, he says, oh, it was my father's. No, 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 I bought it from you. That, that's, that wouldn't be a question that we don't listen to him. However, we do have a question now because it could be he's explaining himself. That's the middle part. The one on the left is that he's not contradicting himself. He's not uprooting his taina. He's just <coughs> adding to it. Adding is okay. He could add. <laughs> he could say uh, he could add another piece. So if you contradict yourself, you cannot add another piece. If you don't contradict yourself, according to everybody, you could add a piece. The middle part is where we have a machloikis, and that is where he's not really contradicting himself, but he's not really adding. He's trying to explain himself, and it's a little bit of a contradiction. A little bit, says the, the, the Rashbam, three or four times. He says, Eloshin, He uses this Eloshin of, he's makhish ktsas, our suya, that's what it is. I said it's my father's, I didn't mean it's my father's. I meant... It's Kibu, it's my father. It's like my father's. So Zog the Gemara. It's a Maisa Shaya. There's a guy collecting money in Chutz Laaretz. He was collecting for 13 years Soimim and an Almana. They caught him. They, they said, what do you mean? You're, you're collecting for yourself. No, you have 13 kids and you have a wife. So, so why would you kill? Why would you kill your wife's husband like that? And why would you kill your your children's father? You're going around telling people that they're Yisraelim. He says, "You think going to chutzlarts, collecting money from door to door, is a life? I don't have a life. I'm not alive. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Kilo says the Gemara. Toyin v'chayzer toyin. Oyein chayzer. Oyein toyin v'chayzer toyin. This is the barometer right here." No laugh, no joke. It's going. Avi, we have one of the greatest guests of all time. Uh, Weinberger's uh, son, Weinberg's son from North Woodmere, all time favorite. This is Givaldi. He's been practicing on the bus from Yerushalayim till here. The ah, the whole, yeah, you should, the excitement. You still excited? Yeah. Yeah, it's Givaldi. <laughs> Hold on, we need to take a picture. Somebody take a picture quick before we forget after share. Get over here. Schnell, Schnell, eight. Yeah, yeah. It's a good idea. Hey, look over there. Oh, look over here. And we all have a share to do. Anyways, you stay right over here, and we're going to do the share. You'll tell you if it's funny, not funny, the whole zah. Okay? You want to stand here or you want to sit? What do you want to do? Oh, you want to sit. Okay, go, go, quick. Even though he's contradicting himself a little bit, he doesn't sound so smooth over here. He could, he, could, he could explain himself. Now, you're not allowed to take it back. You can't explain yourself. Now we have a few halachas here. The Gemara establishes what's going on. There's different cases that everybody's made to each other. What if he specifies? He says, in, in, in Eretz Yisrael, they say, the street is my father's. The street is your father's. But over here, he says much more. He says, it's my father's and not your father's. And now we have Aiden that say it's not your father's. Oh, that's it. You're you're wiped out. You can't explain yourself like that. You can't say, oh, not your father's. I meant, oh, I, I'm very strong over here. Then Italian Bakhaiz Vitaya and everybody agrees that you can explain yourself. These are Mamash Halachas Nagel and Mais. It happens to a lot of people. Let's say you're in Bezdin. And Bezdin says, no, what happened over here and over there? And you're like, uh, I don't know. Vaso Mabroy and he left. And all of a sudden he, you know, I, I said this all the time. Like you're sitting in front of a gadol. Uh, Rabbi Chaim can ask you, ask you a question, and you're like, uh, you freeze. 
And as soon as you leave, you're like, oh, I should have told him, I could have impressed him, I could have said this. Eh, eh, too late. Once you leave, you can't come back. What's the reason? Maybe I had a genius friend who is a good lawyer and said, you should have told the Bezin like this and like this. That's too late. That's not your Taina. That's his Taina. But if you leave MDY, you Hold can't on. come back? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> so listen, usually I only allow one question per shear. You, I allow three. I have one more. You have one more. But the answer is no. Everybody's welcome to come back. Everybody. We had, I was got on the phone. Shapsi Cohen's son finished the entire Mesechus of Bamitzia. Listen to what happened. The entire thing. The beginning of Babashi, he fell a little bit. So I called him. I said, where are you? He says, I fell. I can't come back. I said, no, you got to come back. No, I can't. 15 minutes. He wouldn't come. He always come back. Then do I always come back? What? Yeah, this is not a Bezna. The opposite. My time in the Tanosi Agmari. Fine. Umay the Narda. Hey, Chidomer Leishala, Boy Seshala, Kum Avisecha. Did he practice these questions also? Or just the ah? When he says, My father bought it from your father, the Khaizer Vitayan, then he could explain himself. That's a great explanation. You have Aiden that your father owned it? Yeah, but I'm claiming that I bought it. My father bought it from your father. This is a Gavalika one. Let's say a person says certain things outside of Bezin. This is a story, I don't really feel comfortable saying it for different reasons. The guy, the guy, I don't know, the source is not the greatest source, but an interesting story. I'll just throw it out there. Those who understand, understand. There's a guy at a, at a wedding who was a photographer and somebody claimed that he tripped over the photographer's extension cords. You know, they put it out, he tripped, he broke his leg. So the photographer sent him a video proving that he didn't trip, that he walked out of the wedding. He said, look, you walked out of the wedding on your own two feet. Kids said they come to, to Besden Court, whatever it was. And uh, he produces the video that the guy walked out on his own two feet. Says the guy, what are you talking about? That wasn't even me. I'll prove to you that it wasn't me. And he proved. So says the photographer, listen to this. He tells the, he tells the Besden, he says, no, no, no. That's not the video I want to show you. I want to show you a different video. That video I gave him so he could work on that video and prove me wrong. Da, 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 da. I threw him off. That's not what I wanted to show. I want to show you this video where he never even showed up to the wedding. <laughs> yeah, Emma's. That, that's the, okay, if it's Emma's story or not, that I can't guarantee. That's the exact story. So, could, the point is that what you say outside of Besden, in a one-on-one fashion, is to throw off your baldin. You don't want to tell them all your tricks. You don't want to tell them all your rias. You just say, here, this is, this, is my, this is my evidence. Once you come to court, then you can say whatever you want, and we're not going to hold it against you, unless you said it in front of two Adim, which then you're locked in. Unless you said it in front of Bezdin, then you're locked in. So again, when you said your things outside of Bezdin, and you didn't bring up this this proof, you didn't show the video that you have, and then you go to Bezdin and you say the opposite of what you said outside of Bezdin, even the opposite. The Chayz Retayin, your ladder, take back your words, my taima. This is the halacha, that a person is careful. Sometimes smart people won't even tell their own attorneys. They won't tell anybody, they won't say a word. They'll give their proof inside of Bezdin. And that's it. So nobody should have material to work on and fight against them. Omar Amimar. Ano Nahardo Ano. I'm a Nahardoi. Nahardoi said, Nahardoi Amr. The whole city of Nahardoi, the whole Bet Shemesh says, Eino Yichoi Zivertoi. You cannot take back. You said it's your father's. You meant it's your father's. Don't start explaining. You meant that you have strong possession of it like as if it was your father's. So says Amayma, what are you talking about? Don't say all the people from Narada said that. I know Narada, I know. I'm also from that city. Usvirli and I hold the opposite. The Toyin v'chayzer v'tayin. You could take it back. V'hilchza, in fact, Toyin v'chayzer v'tayin. If I could do away, so this, this middle case, where I could explain what I said. It's not the most 
the, the, not everybody will agree with me that that's what I meant. But there are those, oh, and there's this is how we speak, and this and that. It could go both ways. It's not the greatest, smoothest taina. Over there, we paskin that choyzer v'tayin, I could explain it. Next case. Two people are fighting over this piece of land. They both said we inherited from our forefathers. The two Adim say that Ruvain was there. Tavshin pei Dalit, Tavshin pei Gimel, Tavshin pei Beis. Three years going back, he was there. The high Isis had the Dachlish Nechazaka, and the second guy brings Adim that say that he also ate Chazaka. He was there for three years. Tavshin pei Dalit, Tavshin pei Gimel, Tavshin pei Beis. What are the two Adim? We have two against two that are saying the exact opposite of each other. Two Adim are saying it's Ruvain that sat there and did Chazaka. Two Adim say it's Shimon that did Chazaka. What do we do when we have two against two? Is Mamish not a single seat left that you're sitting on one seat? Yeah? You're sitting on one seat over there? It looks like two seats. One seat left. One seat. We're looking for a sponsor to, for the enlargement of the Vismedrush. Oh, there's one next to the Rishkoil, but you're scary, Rishkoil. <laughs> okay, so we have here, we have two Adim against two Adim. Mamish full house. Beautiful. By the way, Matzishav is also full house. We were expecting a bunch of guests, Taka. Talk to, talk to you later, Gary. <laughs> Maybe we can do some pizza. Pizza Matzishav, please, Hashem. Pizza. Mamish be a full house now. All right, so we have. Uh, sorry, this is not it. Hi, Isis had a boss of Ochlish Nechazoko. By Isis had Ochlish Nechazoko. Hi, Isis had Zoe Michel Aboise. Zoe, time out. Zoe Michel Aboise. Hi, Isis had a boss of Ochlish Nechazoko. By Isis had Ochlish Nechazoko. Sorry, here we go. This is the case. Each one has Adim that they were there for three years, but one set of Adim, the one on the right, their Adim also say an additional piece of information. That was actually not only that did he sit there for three years, the last three years, but it was their forefathers. Now, on the three years, what do we have? A super contradiction. So therefore, we have to X out what they said. These guys said they were there, that the guy on the left was there for three years, and this guy, and these two guys said the guy on the right is there for three years. That is a lie. Somebody's lying here. We don't know who. It's two against two, so we, it's a wipe. It's a, it's a, what do you call it? How do you, a wash, not a wipe. A wash. Wash. It's a wash. How do you say wash in Hebrew? I couldn't figure. Huh? Nikia. Nikia. It's a Nikia. Not the wife? Yeah, okay, whatever. We're not going to go there. So, so you put two, the three against the three. The three shonim against three shonim is X and X. It's a wash that doesn't exist. I heard, I heard the joke. And the the land go, stays with the guy on the right. Why? Because he has Adim. That was his forefathers. Says Rava, Malay Rava, this What's going on here? We have a serious machlekes. Rava says, at the end of the day, somebody's lying here. I can't accept anything anybody's saying. Somebody's lying. It's Edus Mukhashes. Omer Le, so Rav Nachman explains them. Rav Nachman says, Rebbe, Nihi the takhush b'akhilasa. Yes, you're right. Part of it was a contradiction. Ba'avasa mi takhush. No, that part is remains nice and strong. The flamet aleph, omud beis, <coughs> sponsored by Life Shear Community Protecting Families today before tomorrow's unexpected loss. Person who doesn't have a life. Hold on. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Two people in the room sponsored the pizza tomorrow. Who? Raise your hands if they want. It's against the will. You're sponsoring pizza? A hundred shekel. So we have another person. Shalom. I'm a new guy. I'm a new guy. The new guy. It's not your time.
Danny Fine. Wow. Danny, I forgot to show this uh, message that you sent me. Huh? Danny sent me a message. I have to remember to show it. Where I'll, I'll try to say in the beginning of Shir. Say it now. A guy said to him, You gave me a Gemara, what Mitzachta? Erevin? Like or... Erevin? Yeah. No, we didn't have Gemaras then. One of the first Mitzachtas. You gave me a free Gemara then. Rosh Hashanah, a little bit of a difference, but okay. <laughs> And I've been, I've been doing the daf since then. I haven't missed a day. Something like that. So you see, you give a guy a free Gemara. It goes a long way. Oh, which reminds me, a brisket or Gemara. Rabbi said, I told Yossi Klein that for Mesech Bar Basra, for Chalik Bays, MDY is not going to sponsor any Gemaras. If somebody wants to step up, whatever people sponsor, they sponsor one Gemara, we'll give out one Gemara. That's it, a new thing. We gave it a lot of Gemaras for Volume 1, and it cost MDY a lot of money, maybe even close to $50,000. So for Volume 2, if somebody wants to step in, great. Not, not. We'll just go from there. People, people have the opinion, oh, uh, there's a charity event. Let them pay for this, let them pay for that. Yes, Givol. Yes, Givol. Three times. You got to decide which one you want. All those other ones, don't care. Now one left, last one. Zek the Gemara. Leimerova, Virav Nachman. Oh, once I'm talking about sponsors, uh, we're looking for a sponsor. It's only ten thousand dollars to buy a new computer. I'm going to show you a beautiful. Uh, we're, gonna, we're getting there slowly. I know yesterday Dylan wasn't so excited about that animation. I think today Dylan's going to like the animation a lot more. And we're at a mahalach. We're we're getting there. But in order to get there, we need a, a rendering, a machine that renders. What part of the problem is it takes many hours for these. It's so complicated. It takes many hours. Once they get it, they put it in the system and then render. It sits there for hours and I don't get it in time for the Hebrew shear. It's a whole mindset. Some of the time he's up the whole night. So we need a $10,000 computer. If anybody wants to sponsor, yes. If not, MDY will buy it. Oh. So, it goes like this. Very, very simple. You see red goes with red. Green goes with green. Robert just said that if there's a contradiction between the two witnesses, two sets of witnesses, they're not believed at all, even for the part that there's no, there's no uh, contradiction, even on the part of that it was your forefathers. We're going to see Rav Chizda says literally the same thing in a different case. Rav Nachman says, no, I argue on my Talmud Rava, we can believe Adem for something else, and Rav Huna is going to say we could believe Adem for something else. Says the Gemara, perhaps they're saying the same thing, and then the Gemara says, no, maybe there's a Yesh Lechalik, that's a typical classic Gemara. How? Let's see where you can find the distinction between the two cases. So when there's four names, you start getting confused, that's why I made a little chart here. You have two witnesses that testify about a loan. They're saying Ruvain lent money to Shimon. And the other, the other uh, Adem are saying, no, never happened. So let's see where it is. Here we go. Right over here. First of all, what's this? Oh. This is Tamazai. Like when you have the two Adem, the Makkash. I don't know what he did here. Then if you... Okay, forget it. Okay. So here we have, there was a loan. There was not a loan. Okay. Two guys. It's a contradiction. Here. So he says, they're not possible. In this case, we don't listen to a word they say. Somebody's lying. But in other cases, if they want to testify, let's say, I just threw it here. Let's see. Uh, oh. I... I saw the moon, yeah? I'm testifying about the moon. Nothing to do with that. So do we believe them or not? Mm-hmm. Rav Nachman says, uh, not Rav Nachman, Rav Huna says we believe them in another case. In this case, we can't believe them because they're liars, but they're not possible for the rest of the life. We can believe them for something else. Rav They are possible for the rest of their lives. This guy, these two said that there was a law, these two said there wasn't a law. Somebody's lying here, we can't trust them forever. So Emela, Lema, what? Either. We, don't know who we don't know who it is. Oh, All four of them are possible no. for life. Sure. Is that, that discouraged people? <laughs> if they're lying, yeah, yeah. 
to the scars to lie. I might show up with somebody who's going to lie. But I'm going to pass them. Why would they do it? They all, they're also taking a risk. So let me ask you something else. If I testify that I saw somebody uh, kill somebody, I, I risk it that they'll come and say, you were with me in the Bahamas, and, and they'll kill the Adam. So I'm also, that's much worse. You could die for saying testimony. When you, when you testify, you're risking death. You're risking a million dollars. You're testifying that so and so owes a million dollars. If there's a Eidi Azami, you have to pay the million dollars. You're risking it. Isn't every person have a chaskas kashas until you actually were here that it's possible? Of course. So over here you have two guns too. That's that yeah, there, there was a chaskas kashas. No, but uh, that's it. They, 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 they do have Adam. Adam are makhishdan. You are liars. There's two. And, and they're makhishdan. Kids, it's a problem. Maybe each one of you is saying the other shita. Maybe you hold like Rav Huna. You hold like Rav Huna, and he holds like Rav Chizda. Do these line up nicely? Says Gemara, leave the Rav Chizda, Kulam Aloy Pligi. What did Rav Chizda say? Rav Chizda is the most extreme out of all four shitas. Why? There is, in fact, a big difference between Rav Chizda and Rav on top of him. Rav Chizda said, if I find out that it's two against two, these four guys are puzzled for the rest of their life. Forget it. On any case, in anything. Rava said it in this particular case. We have two Adam that said that you did a chazaka for three years, plus we know it's your father. Says Rava, get out of here. We don't listen to anything that you said. Tomorrow you want to testify about the moon? Maybe Rava will say it's okay. Rava didn't say they're puzzled forever. Rava said in this particular case, this Adam has two parts to it. This is the part of the Chazaka, and this is the part of that it's your father's. We're going to erase all your testimony completely in this particular case. So Mehechatesa, Rava here, is this. Who says Rava holds like Rav Chizda? Maybe Rava holds like Rav Huna in this case. Maybe even Rava holds like Rav Huna. I'll leave it there, Rav Chizda, go down, I'll leave it there, I'll leave it Rav Huna. Rav Huna is the one that says that in this case, they could testify in another case, two against two, they're not puzzled forever, like... Rabbi Weinberg's son said, this, that. okay, fine. So they're not puzzled. So says Rava, okay, I'll, I'll agree with you in, the, in another case. So certainly, Rav Nachman and Rav Huna line up, that's Pashat. They say, great. But maybe even Rava agrees to Rav Huna. Rav Huna agrees to Rav Huna. Maybe Rav Huna would admit to Rava that when they're testifying one testimony about one man called Reuven that he was there for three years, liars. We have two ways that said he wasn't there for three years. And they're also there that Reuven's father owned it, liars. In that case, liars. But in another case, not. The story continues, Rabbi Isai. So we're passing like Rav Nachman over here. They have two Adim that testify that this guy was there for three years. We'll go back to this case. Yeah, just so the island remembers this case. Two of them say you were there for three years. Two of them say you were there for three years. Plus, the guys on the right also say it was your father's. They're holding you a picture of the father. So what do you say? Three against three. The three, three years against three years is out the window, but we'll hold on to your edus. That's how we pass him. All of a sudden, the guy on the left, he pulls up with Adam a month later. So let's think what happens. They go to Bezda. Bezin says, like Rav Nachman, we could trust Adam on the right. They're holding a picture of the forefather. Okay, we're going to give it to the guy with the red beard. Or the guy all the way on the, on, the, on the right side in the corner. He gets the house. All of a sudden, the guy with the untucked shirt on the left, all of a sudden, he brings Adam that was his father. What do we do now? Now, a lot of times, we see that this a concept called Zilzul Bezdin. You don't want to make a mockery out of Bezdin. Bezdin passing one way, they stay, they stay that way. You don't, you don't oh, today it's, it's like this, it's like that. So what do we do? The second guy brought it in, it's his father's. We Bezdin took him out of the house, we'll put him back in the house. We're not so concerned that the bazillion of Bezin. Look, they didn't weren't around last week. Now they're around. So, so what does that mean? We take him, we took the guy on the right out of the house. I'm sorry. We took the guy on the left out of the house. 
We put the guy on the right in the house. And now what do we do? Think about it for a second. We take the guy with the red beard out of the house and we put the guy with the untucked shirt in the house. Why? They both have Edim that was their fathers. But it says, Anan achtine, anan maskinon. We, take him, we took him out, we'll put him back in. We'll put the guy on the left back in. Why should we put him? So what are they going to do? They're going to share the house? 50-50? About the father. I hear what he's saying. He's saying very nice. So the summer showing him that say, yeah, he's saying that the 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 the, the Edim, all the way on the top, they were already they're iffy, which is not a, not a hundred percent because we believe that, that part of the Edim. They're iffy. We have fresh new Edim that say it's. The guy on the left's fathers, and nobody touched their testimony at all. There was perfect testimony. Interesting. There's, there's a big machalik you're showing what to do here. I just, I go with Taisvis. He says at the end of Anan, Achtinon, V'yei didn't call the Alam Gvar. The stronger guy wins. Yoel, David, who works out, he's going to beat the other is guy. Okay? That's how it. But we learned about Metzia that, What? Physical. Not just the physical. If he was right. Okay, it's, it's also machlek is what called on various. But the uh, the rush in Bamitzia we learned the rush says that whoever is stro- whoever is the the true owner he'll fight harder and he puts more heart into it. Massive rava. So at the end of the day, we have this idea that that we don't that it's a problem to invite Bezdin. Why? Because Masav Rava Vitema Rebbe Zera Shnei Mayim Meis Shnei Mayim Loi Meis. There's a woman who's Aisha Sish. She's married. Her husband went on a trip. Two witnesses said we were on that trip. We saw, unfortunately, her husband didn't make it. Shnei Mayim Loi Meis. They're liars. He's still alive. Do not get married. Shnei Mayim Is Garsha. Shnei Mayim Loi Meis Garsha. Two witnesses says say the woman is divorced and therefore she can't be nisiavim to her brother-in-law. Well, if her husband dies, to say no, she was never divorced. She shouldn't get married. Why? She remains Aisha Sish. Two against two. We cancel both of them. And she remains Aisha Sish. And what if she got married? She doesn't have to go out. We have to explain this. Rabbi Nachman says she, she, she does get divorced. She has to leave this second husband. Why? She wasn't allowed to get married to begin with. When do I say that she should go out If the Edom came and said, do not get married, and she didn't listen, and she got married, and then she has to get divorced. Aval says, what if she got married, and only afterwards the Edom came, what's the Svaro? Lemaisa, we have Edom now, that's saying she's Edom. So what if she got married by Hatter? She got married by Hatter, great Hatter. But now we have two more Edom saying, no, your husband never died. So it turns out that she's Aisha Sish. She never got married. So get divorced immediately. You see this concept? Don't make a mockery out of Bezdin. Bezdin Paskin, she could get married. So we got to stick with it. Rav Zilstein wants to prove from here. You hear this, Rabbi Weinberg? This is a halacha for a rav. What if a rabbi, they ask him, do you say tachlan today? He says, no, no, you don't say tachlan today. So a guy comes and brings him the luach and shows him, uh, you messed up. Today you do say. Oh, so, but they already started last year. What do you do? He says, no, you know, you can't make a mockery out of the Rabbanos and out of, he says, from here you see, you shouldn't. She reminds me of another Maisa, Maisa Shahaya. There's a Hasidim master the Rebbe, a question on Allah. And the Rebbe, he wasn't the, the biggest Talmud Chacham. He didn't know the answer. So he says, you know, give, give me a few minutes. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll come back to you. So he closes his door. He runs to the phone on the wall. He calls up the Mechon Hara. Ask your rabbi line. And he says, listen, I have this in this question. What do you think the Allah is? The guy says, you know, treif. So, okay, fine. He hangs up. Comes down. I thought about it. I thought about that. The man said, it's treif. As he's talking to them, all of a sudden, the phone rings in the office. So the guy runs to the phone. And he picks up the phone. The guy says, listen, this is from Mechayin I just told the Rebbe that it's treif. It's really not treif. So he comes back and says, Rebbe, the Mechayin said that it's not treif. The Rebbe turned colors. He didn't want Dalim to know that. Okay, Maisa Shaya says the Gemara. Maisa Shkimatoya. It happened to me. Oh, no, no, no. Hashas Vinanat. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, oh, so we have this idea that you don't want to make a makri out of bezin. Oh, my lay, so Rav Nachman says, I know Savi I was going to make a makri out of bezin. I said, it's not a makri. Bezin said, it's Reuven's house. Now Bezin is going to say, it's either Kol Alam Govar or whatever the Rishonim say. They say, like Jonathan, the, the second guy gets it. Hashi do Svitan at. You showed me a beautiful Bryce of two Aiden that say the, the woman is Asia. She's not Asia. Voice of Rav Nuna Basuria. And also from the same Bryce, another person called Rav Nuna also got me. I'm not going to switch out what the Bezin said. The Bezin says it's Ruvain's. It remains Ruvain forever, even though Shimon brings Aiden. And all of a sudden, Rabbi Isai, Nofak Ovad Uvda. He flipped the Bezin. He gave all speech. You guys are right. Bezin shouldn't take back the words. It's a mockery. It's a, you're right. It is a mockery of Bezin. Then he went. He says, it's not a mockery of Bezin. We have to give it to Shimon or Koda and Govan Shimon. Man, the Chaza, whoever saw the story, saw it to see the other. He made a mistake. He didn't make a mistake. I'm sure the Talib He had another source of tremendous Gdailim that said, like him, that we're not concerned. Uh, uh, that it's a mockery of the best. It's not. Rabbi Yehuda Oimer Ein Malin Kulan Piyei Dechad. That if somebody is, we're not sure he's a kain, not a kain, and an Eid Dechad comes and says he is a kain. Omer Lazar says, says Rabbi Yehuda, one Eid doesn't do it. And Rabbi Lazar says, he must be Mako Only if people come and say, people or person, we're going to see, that's tomorrow's sugya. They say he's not. Then we could. Check this out. Here's this nice, uh, I thought it was very nice. I enjoyed it a lot last night. This is a nice piece of ribs. It's really the Imurim. Oh, we don't have volume. Givant! Woven huben vluse! is a ben That's what he said. I asked him to do what that Russia Marusha, that woman who was watching Bibi's uh, speech, she was holding a black sign with white words on it, war criminal. So kids of this guy, so Nachamal, I don't want to do the whole thing again, but I, I over here he screams, the guy screams, what a shame. There's no the whole the whole, it's funny because of the this guy with the He's saying that the guy on the Mizbeach is not a Kayin. He's the son of a Ben Grush of Chalutza. So he, he's dejected. He puts his head down and he walks out of the Beis Amigdash. As he's walking out of the Beis Amigdash, he's walking out, his head is down. And this guy, he's a Eidechad and says, no, you are a Kayin. He says, really? Huh? And he turns around and goes back in to do the Avaidah. So Beis Hashem, what's the We have to fix this uh, volume problem. So very interesting. Today, Bizman Azeh, Halacha Lamaisa. You guys didn't enjoy it. As I'm telling you, the Eilam was cla- it was Gival. It was funny the way he said Gival, the whole thing. So, there's a concept called Matas Tikkun. If a person is a Kayan, you give, you give him, from every animal you shech, you give him Zroyal Chayayim Vekeva, the jaw, the foreleg, the, the innards. What about today? So, Nerz Yisrael, yeah, why not? In Chutzlars, there's a Shaila. Some Sofer says, I give Matnas Kuhuna in Chutzlars. The Vilna Gain gave Matnas Kuhuna in Chutzlars with a bracha. He made a bracha. Comes the Chazanish and says, Maridik. And I, I, I said, I'm not making fun of the Kaihanim. I love the Kaihanim. He says, Listen, today you got sound? You want to try it now? Now that this is the third time. You play it while I'm saying it, say whatever. It's not funny anymore because the, the, the punchline is there. Says the Chazanish, today we have people that base their kahuna, and a, a guy told this to me to my face. He says, I know I'm a Kayan because my grandfather was not religious, said he's th- he thinks he's a... That's how you become a Kayan because you, after you're, you're from for 20 years, you go to base Kfaras and you found a cave and it has hands. That, you can't base... Kuhuna on that, and many Bali Chuba they base the Kuhuna on Givan! Wolvein Huben Vluse! Givan! Oh, if we already did that, Yishkoyach, let's go back to, well, we might as well do this. Or this, hold on. What are you doing?
Good morning, Rabbi Sai. <laughs> Next. <laughs> So, uh, Yosef, the shir is not over yet. Have a seat. So, <laughs> where's the famous, the fa- we have to say the famous Misa. A guy, a guy goes after, you know, on Shabbos morning, after davening, he goes, he goes to the Rav to say good Shabbos. The Rav says, I see, I see you got Kayan, Raliyah. He says, you think I don't remember you from the Haim in Europe? You, you're not a Kanye in Europe. She says, yeah, and you are not a Rav in Europe either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, maybe we could stop here. The point that the Chazinish says is that Ein Malin, he says, so you don't bring a guy who does not become a Kanye just because he saw something in a caver. Or the marshal, this thing, one last thing. They, they made a person a Kanye, I think they pass and that's okay. But similar to this, because the, grand, the grandmother would buy a pair of sacks for the grandfather, every yantiv, they prove from that that he must be a kayan. So says the chazin, she need a yidechad, reboise, have a wonderful day, a good Shabbos, and must Shabbos, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock.